It seems we have just landed right into a war zone. And everyone on Lexington has respawned. Fantastic. We needed to harvest some more stuff anyway. Oh, another contender. Didn't last too long. Welcome back, everyone. So today we are probably, more than likely, going to say goodbye to Codsworth. And uh, we'll go pick up Piper. But I need him to come and talk to me regarding that. Wait, there's more? Why are going to be more? Oh. They must be above. Is that another explosion? Has your man responded? Or respond with a... What? I'm just going to... Just going to fire, I guess. We've got to go up the stairs to kill them. Can't let this good opportunity go to... Waste? What hit me there? I don't know, but if this raider is... Ah! There you are. Eh, you didn't last too long. I did have some raider power armor. Right, we'll take that. I want to head on over to Watts Consumer Electronics. Makes sense to bring Codsworth over to like a robotic place. And it's further south. We can also visit a few locations along the way, including... Ah, oh, teddy. Someone left a teddy bear in the trash can. That's really sad. Yeah, we can visit the... Uh, there's some sort of quarry place. Mass, sand and gravel. That's it. Yeah. We'll visit it as well. Have we been to the bus station? It's a little unmarked location, but it does have a lot of suitcases, so I suppose it is definitely worth popping in. Clean black suit. Come on. Clean black Oh my. What? I'm starting to think. You'd think I placed this before the episode or something. That's unreal. I'm, I am not going to lie. We've been quite lucky. I was going to have to go res resort to dirty suits. But it turns out that we're finding clean suits at a uh, sustainable rate for our settlements. More violence, I hear. Brilliant. But yes, it is fantastic to have you all join us. What is that? Oh, Chad Adams fighting some gunners, right, Codsworth? We will definitely get involved in that. Anything on the bus? Negatory. Let's go. This place is pretty extreme looking. Yeah, the weapons the children of Adam use. Mad. Anyway, I'm going to use a sniper and get involved. Picking up hostile life side. Okay, one of them down. One more step. Gunner conscript. Gunner commander. Okay. Okay, Codsworth, we, we, we have some things we've got to deal with over here. Again, I'm not too sure of who's the real problem here. No scope. That actually got her too. Oh! Damn! That did, uh, did work. She had quite a lot of items being a commander. Uh, we're going to go in here with the old machete. Time to get close personal with uh, the children of Adam. Got a wee critical attack going too. Why is this dealing no damage? Oh, it was a gamma gun. Didn't seem to be... Doing all that much to me, Hanky. <laughs> Taking all the meds. Yeah, this is a little unmarked pharmacy. And, uh, I might just take everything from you. We didn't even need to get that far to get all this juicy. Loot. So, we're already technically off to a complete successful start. 
And a duffel bag full of even more stuff. Lovely. I definitely think there's a jangles out the back. My memory serves me right. Yeah. Now we'll collect some of the jangles, my monkey. See how many we can get by the end of this playthrough. I see more explosions, and I know there's a good sniper rifle up there. Oh, the Cambridge Police Station's that way, isn't it? No, that's, that's College Square, actually. I wonder, did they set off like a mine? Or is there people fighting? Right, College Square. It's a fairly difficult place to clear. It is just a lot of ghouls, but... Is this rib marked? Is this unmarked? What oh, is? Yeah, not many of the red rockets. Well, I say not many are... <laughs> You're gonna have to eat your hat, your bowler hat soon, buddy. God's worth... I ain't gonna have to start giving you stuff. Cause I ain't gonna lie. It's getting... getting full. Hey, what I have. Give me... Oh, I'm gonna give you everything. Right, what am I... What am I currently wearing? A dirty army helmet doesn't seem to have... Nah, no difference, that's okay. I mean, I kind of got that. Formal hat, we'll need that. Gunner harness, all the leather armor. Uh, lightweight combat armor chest piece. Uh, it's the same. Just lightweight. So, we'll give you that. I'll put that on. I'll give you that. A reinforced right arm. Except there's virtually no difference in one. One's more valuable than the other, and they've got the same damage resistance. Fancy that. Okay, so military fatigues gives me two agility and five damage resistance, whilst army fatigues give me one strength. See, so I probably should swap over to those. But I'll just give Codsworth all of these. Currently, I'm going on looks. The two Yaji is actually not not the worst thing, but I do need to put my chest piece back on. Is that me now? Yeah, that's me now. Good, good. Let's see. Um. I have a combat rifle now. When did I pick that up? I don't actually remember picking it up. I can actually build a wee front sight for it or short scope. I don't want to build that. That give me a wee sniper rifle. Ping, 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 ping. That's pretty cool. I like that. Mm hmm. Cards work. Yeah, it's pretty chill so far. Do need to get up onto the rift though. And get going. If you need an early game sniper rifle and you haven't had much luck, just visit over here. Boom. Grab. All the supplies. Could sleep if we needed, but daylight is uh, still with us. Now, let's see. If I go... What direction do I want to go? This way. Mass gravel and sand is where I want to go to next. Just a few silly places I can clear out. You know, get on the map. Get out of the way. In the background, I have been working away on my settlements. What? Oh, there's like a raider here. Okay. Combat rifle was not meant for this. <laughs> it's so, it's so bad. Right, let's go close quarters. Ow. 
Hello. I'm missing all the shots here. Ooh. <laughs> Everyone just taking a wee nice wee tumble down the stairs. Take off. Of course I'm going to take it off. Battery. Let's just make sure that we're up to date. Disc fan! First one of the, the episode. Great we find. I'm trying to get Codsworth up here, but do you know what? See that glowing shotgun? Where where is it? Where's my glowing shotgun? Can I do anything that whilst I'm out here? Yeah. Hey, Codsworth. Another is already in the works. Woohoo! Do you know what? I should have done that. Are things all right between us? I realize the past 200 years were just moments for you, sir. But I'd like to think we've maintained quite the rapport, despite everything. I do hope you feel the same. Your thoughts? All this fuss over a detective. <laughs> I do <laughs> hope Mr. The big eyeball. is worth it. But then again, anything is worth the risk when it comes to finding... Oh, nothing. All right. <laughs> okay, so, if you've ever been to Mass Gravel and Sand, you may know that there is a duffel bag for the taken on top of one of these. There it is. It's... It's pretty good. Eh, well. Not game-breaking. But that's kind of the whole point of this uh, particular place. I don't even think... Nah, it doesn't even come up that we've cleared it. So there you go. There is a bridge and something else. Where's Watts? There's Watts. I knew it was nearby. This is another power armor suit that I will have to uh, bring back to base. I can oh Yep, defended by some pesky animals. We're no match for us. And we can also unlock the terminal, take this armor with us. Oh, riding had four. Which means it's ING and probably like a ting. Anything else that ends with, like, ting? No? Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not. Okay, becomes? Nope. It's not become. It's not because. Is it picture? Has a T. That's it. Nope. Outside? No. Emotion? It has... no. In store? Also no. Laughed? Nope. Leaving? No, so I... Ah, it's walking. It is walking. Nice. Awesome sauce. Another power armor suit for the Taken. I'm going to go and get every suit that I can in this game. You know me. Never been the biggest fan of wearing them, but given the circumstance, what is going on up here? Oh, it's the robot battle from Automatron DLC. I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit mad, don't you think? Alright, I'm gonna just pull out 
Do gamma guns have like a bonus damage to robots? No, but I know it does. I think the, the, the good one died. Hertz died. That's so sad. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Porter also died. Zoe's diary. I'll listen to that. Turing died. Jackson died. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. Sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we attacked. Idolize robots me, like yes. Donald. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision hmm. to leave. All the explosions. You couldn't have known something like that. What's going on in the background? Look at that. <laughs> was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing. F it's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the mechanist. You'll need help if you want to succeed. I'm aware of this. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me and stop it. In return, I can give you the schematics right, to build your own robot me. workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vote detected. Entering search mode. Oh my! Running That was awful shitting. And on my part, I agree. And no more ammo for the auto pistol. I guess we're swapping back over to something else. Ammo's starting to become a bit of a problem. Uh, thankfully, I have solutions to that. A legendary rust devil, you say? That has mutated? Of course he can mutate. Right, um, I'm gonna take this short double barrel at him. Or the automatic one. I'm also gonna fire up some... Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking cow! Hey, I get him! Woohoo! Auto stem when your health is 25% or less once every 60 seconds, and it doesn't do anything for me right now. Can't take most of this. Ah. Hey, Ada. As I was saying, you have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me and stop it. In return, I. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal. Uh -huh. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. 
Do I take Ella? Not right now. Perhaps there's a place I may be of use until. Yeah, we'll send you somewhere until we do need to do your quest line. Right. So I always love sending one, like instead of having all my companions at one place, I send them all to separate ones. Um, well, we know dog meat is safely at Abernathy. Um, we've got the Sentinel at the Red Rocket. Loads of name characters at the Sanctuary. I post Simonia. You know what? We don't actually have anyone there yet. Hmm, if I send her there, that might be a good place for her to set up. What oh, the Taffington Boathouse? No, there's a moment. I'm familiar with the settlement. Hopefully, I may. Okay, that's good. So, Ada is away. We've completed mechanical mechanism. Menace, that one. Betty, we couldn't see if some people here, but it is what it is. Codsworth. Sir, if I might bend your ear for a moment. Who? Of course. Go right ahead. <laughs> so gracious, sir. I do appreciate it. I've always had such admiration for you and your family, ever since the day my visual senses were first switched on. You and the missus, so good with young Sean, and so trusting of me to look after such a newborn bundle of joy. It just warms my nuclear core. So, you can imagine the distress I felt when the bombs fell, after you fled to the vault. I searched, but found no evidence of your death. I could only hope you all made it in time. Aww. And when you returned, I was overjoyed. I admit I ran a full diagnostic scan just to make sure I wasn't <laughs> malfunctioning. <laughs> but the news, the news of the missus and Sean... Believe me when I say it takes a true hero to live through that. I'm no hero, Codsworth. Believe me. Don't sell yourself short, sir. In such a bleak world as this, think of all you've witnessed and all you've done. In my 200 years, I've seen it tear good men and women apart. But you, sir, you have remained the very model of what humanity should aspire to be. Thank you, Codsworth. That means a lot. No thanks necessary, sir. I wouldn't hear of it. I truly believe if the Commonwealth is to turn itself around, you're the one. Uh -huh. Now, not another word. Uh -huh. Let's get back to it. You have reached the highest level of affinity with Godworth, and therefore gained the Robot Sympathy Perk. Brilliant. So, we are going to go back. I'm going to offload everything. Uh, can I give him any more? see what I can give him. Uh, I suppose just go to junk would be the quickest, easiest way to try and get rid of everything I'm carrying. There's a lot of junk. Mr. Okay. Thomas. Okay, I can carry like two more things. Uh, oh, Zoe's stuff. We need to listen to Zoe's stuff, yeah. Turn the radio off because we saved them. Kinda. Not really. Liza didn't make it. Another rust devil. Anything else just whilst I'm about here? Oh, another robot. You know I'm taking that military grid circuit. Um, in terms of useful items, I'm going to just offload probably a wee pipe pistol and a wee revolver. I think that... What's glowing red in this? Just naturally glowing red? Okay. Cool. Right, so now that we've cleared most of that, got everything that we need. Oh, there was so many named characters that are all dead now. A shame. All right. So, what's the robot sympathy perk? R. Thanks to your relationship, ten percent less. Oh, damage taken from robot energy weapons reduced by ten percent. Woohoo! Awesome. Brilliant to hear, Codsworth. Right. Let's get this suit back to the Red Rocket along with Codsworth. 
It's almost emotional. I made sure he does of the bowler hat. We're going to send Codsworth. I was going to go to Sanctuary so he could just be at home. And then I was thinking Grey Garden with the other robots. Because I think it would be kind of cool if we have them all together. So we're going to do just that. Head on to Grey Garden. Godspeed. There's one of our suits. The Commonwealth Mafia. Well, at least that's what I'm starting. All right. We do need a bit more bobbleheads, though. That's something on my agenda. Wow, you're tall. Yep. Well, hello. Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? Mm-hmm. We probably do. All right, public occurrences. Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. Now, I wonder what perks so, she I know provides. you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Seriously, you're asking that? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, Rebuilding the world? It gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would... Nope. I skipped that, but... No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway... I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Alright, so now with Piper, a new companion. Um, can I just take everything here? seen better days, haven't it? Well, Piper, you're, you're mi casa e su casa, and I am taking... Everything. Don't think I got a clean black suit there, but it matters not. Synthetic truth. Uh, let's see by Piper Wright. Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied the sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical candence of Takahashi's program Japanese. To the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl to the... Uh, scolding tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is one that many shared hum is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m. Enjoying a dinner I have had so many times before, that's when I noticed my very own mayor, Mc don't know, slide up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago, on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229, uh, as they sat around the very same counter. 22.29, that sounds wild to say it like that. Time's flying. Uh, 
but that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles but ice cold Nuka Colas, frothy beers and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry and that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking and laughing. That is until tragedy struck. There, though, er, there aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have had they not been forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDonald's anti-ghoul decree of 2282. But there is one person amongst us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening, respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a Public Occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right at the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now. 22 years old or so and just having a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were, so what was the harm? And let me tell you that, Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere, it didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile, his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or to hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just wonderful, until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on, must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had three or four drinks at that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him, clear as it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat and took out a revolver, and then blam. He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. He just killed Henry as casually as if he was paying for a drink. But his cheek never stopped twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose. What Eustace is describing, of course, is the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organisation responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortly, effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans, synths. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running in, they opened fire, Mr. Carter kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, the guards put him down. Seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy. And as he lay there dead, like a dead crazy man, sure enough, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of the early synths. You see, and we realised it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew. The Institute weren't just out there, they were now everywhere among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr Carter went in a killing spree. Some suggest that he had been remotely controlled by the Institute who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others simply felt he had malfunctioned. A hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, but was never meant to kill anyone. Uh, but at the time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organisation whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery, using the synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles, specifically the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonald last Wednesday night. In the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire, mercilessly killed several people, after spending hours of an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race, they were wrong. Are we? Ah. So, that was interesting. Yeah. Piper's Terminal as well. I suppose we may as well learn as much as we can here, as we are kind of completely raiding... Oh, I'm outside. Corrupt officials and brown-nosing citizens, but it's home. Good view up here. Back inside to read the terminal. Let's see what all we can find here. So obviously we read that article. We had a good read of it. Oh, 
Okay, under the wall. Date 215. In your most recent edition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the mighty wall in the defense of our town against the last month's super mutant attacks. I find this extremely offensive and will not be purchasing another copy until such disrespect is publicly corrected. Published response. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. Personal response. Dear Whack Job, two members of the Diamond City Security died defending this town. Where was your hunk of plywood for them? Ooh. Another complaint log. Uh, I find choice of topic sad. How about happy story? Maybe something about nice bar. Thank you for your feedback. Our stories are selected for relevance and importance to the Diamond City populace. Vadim, no story about your bar is going to end happily. <laughs> Your paper is just trying to drum up fears about sense to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for your concern. Our paper makes significant efforts to ensure all stories are accurate and free from editor editorializing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched. <laughs> uh, at least she has a pretty... Damn, what is all this? Dear public, I am torn between two lovers. On one hand, I have my profession. Every moment I spend with the young up-and-comers for whom I bring such joy. On the other hand, I have my co-worker. Wise, patient, debonair. Many suggest that I am not living or lively enough for him. But I can picture life with no other. I long confess my feelings for him, but my life is my work. Trying to add a relationship, it would simply shortchange everyone. I must choose public, but who? Dear pair, love is rare too. Doubly, doubly so. Make it work, pair. You work in the same building for shuck's sake. So obviously that must be someone in the school, I take it. Uh, or the teacher, I'd imagine. Or something like that. Or maybe the barbers. Could be. Me and my little girl have been on our own for a long time now. She's the most important thing in my life. But lately, it's like she's not as interested in hanging out with her papa. I understand she's got to grow up someday, but I'm not ready to let her go. Uh, what do I do to make sure I don't lose my little girl? I wonder, is that a reference to is it Charlie and your man that we've seen do you remember on the dam back in Forest Grove Marsh on the Charleston Dam it could be dear troubles your girl's becoming her own person let her make decisions screw up maybe throw some extra caps away so you can take her friends out for noodles more often then when she's ready she'll come to you I'm assuming maybe this is people inside Diamond City then I've been living in Diamond City for years now, but I've never been able to land a girlfriend. I wear nice clothes, give them free drinks, but they just seem to think I'm a sort of creep. My boss says I've got a face only a mother could love, and I think he's right. I feel like I'm out of options. What sh Should I take the plunge and change my face? Ever tried talking to these girls? You should give it a go. No more need, or no more trying to buy your way. You need to earn it. Oh, so she's doing like a, a sort of like, what, what is it, like a triff? Truth Granny or Truth Auntie or something like that. Ah, the name's gone, but you, you you always see these in the the papers. I've got this job, it pays the bills, but lately it's making it so I can't sleep at night. Things have been so tense, I'm getting worried that if something doesn't change, I might slip up and get myself or someone else hurt. Any advice, public? Dear Beat, sounds like you need to relax more. I know after a hard day solving other people's problems, I like to grab a Nuka Cola, pull out a stack of comics, and read till I pass out. Give it a try. I wonder, is these all Piper responding? Or like different people? Well, I assume Piper. I could use a friend. Everyone in this town is either jealous of me or afraid because of how I look and who I work for. I'm not willing to compromise who I am. Um, just so people will like me more. But it gets so lonely. But you seem like a smart gal, public. Any chance you can grab a drink sometime? Dear alone, going to have to take a rain check on that drink, but your instincts are good. New friends crop up in the most unlikely of places. You need to search them out. So obviously that must be maybe Nick's person? Well, we've read through your entire terminal. That was a good wee read. Now, me and Piper are going to go to Watts. You know what I didn't have a listen to? And I should. We picked up quite a few things over the last couple of episodes that we just haven't really listened to. So let's go and find them. First up, we've got not dear detective. It was ah oh, the Jason's Hollow, Jackson's Hollow tape. That's a we listen. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is. 
One of them was spouting something about the mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even beyond my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Ooh. The man shared. Nice. Good to find. Another real marked location. Ooh. Not my proudest moment, but yes. Uh, there's also the flight recorder from Skylane's Flight 1981. Nice. Uh, we have to listen to it as well. Thirty-six flares. Damn. <gasps> Violence. Look, we've gotta we've gotta go to it. Oh no. Are you fucking kidding me? May I just find us? Get him, Piper. This is another, I think this is called the Narrow Alley. Or something to that degree. Definitely more upstairs here. That was really easy. What was that? We have to get back down there. All right. I guess we scared him off. Nah, wouldn't wouldn't count on a piper. I think, I think that we I bought is probably coming straight for us. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you right now one of the rarest items in the game. She can't do a ranged attack. And, oh no, 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 you can. Yeah, I just missed the giant thing on his hand there. What, what were they fighting? Minute Man? You kill my soldiers. Damn it. They killed my soldiers. Damn, I'm getting some serious amount of stuff here. Well, look, sometimes you gotta honor them, the Minutemen. They tried their best, and uh, unfortunately I can't give them a proper burial for their services. But they got absolutely rinsed. Oh my god, they just, ah. They were there a minute, and now they're just, they're all gone. So yes, rarest item in Fallout 4. Now, why do I categorize it as rarest? Because, well, there's only one of them, one in the game, it's from a cook quest and it's just super ultra rare it's right over here on the floor and there it is it kind of blends in with the rocks it is a sealed boston bugle now again what makes it so i actually hope it doesn't end up in junk here because we we'll have to there it is sealed boston bugle it was meant to be for some sort of cut quest line for piper i think and they just never did. It's worth one breaks in the cloth, but you'll never find another one. Trust me. Try. They're, they don't exist. There is no other sealed Boston Bugle in the entire game than what you just saw there. You're welcome. See? The more you know. It's also one of my most, ex most successful uh, shorts. Yeah, I don't know what that sound was. It didn't sound good, though. Okay, so... May as well just discover the Tucker Memorial Bridge and I'll swing back round to Watts. Because there's the Poseidon plant opposite, but Marlark Hunters appear from that. 
We also use the death claw over there. So uh, this was the camp. Oh, she had some, another one. Another swarm bot. Wait, did all this stuff respawn? Nah, it didn't. I just wasn't super exact. Uh, there was someone's diary as well. Jackson's hollow tape. Mechanist hollow tape. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the Mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. Too much Star Wars he's watched there. And the Republic will be reorganized into the new galactic empire. If I piper back. Look at this. My eyes. Glorious. Have a lot more limbs and a lot less hair if you stick around here too much longer. Yeah. So, uh, the Tucker Memorial Bridge, one of the only locations in the game I can safely say, well, this and Dark Hollow Pond, why, why did they get a marker on the map? Like, why? They're, the, every other bridge technically has a name and didn't get marked. This got marked and yet had nothing unique about it. Like, Dark Hollow Pond has one raider and a dog and a bed. That's it. And it, it got named. And they just did a disservice to some much, much better locations deserving of a, an icon on the map. There's also hidden icons, if you didn't know. Uh, yeah, there's a command that you can bring it up. I'm going to do a wee video on that soon, actually. Oh, I can go into that trailer. There's a terminal with a wee story to it, I take it. Ralph, just reminding you about the inventory coming in tonight we talked about. Like I said, this should remain off the books and kept between us as do a few dock workers as possible. The units are heavy and will require a forklift. That's all you need to worry about. Remember, Watts rewards employees that demonstrate they can be team players. Mr. Felix. Hollow disk recording machines, blank hollow disks, and writable ones. Robot replacement power, optical lenses, and something else. And then what was the last one? TVs and stuff from Radiation King. It's strange we never get like a Radiation King offices or building or anything. They're the ones that did... They, they do the radios and the TVs and all, so... Yeah. Always find that a little odd. Anything around this side? Oh. This guy just hanging out here. Eh. That's that. Alright, let's go in. Clear the place. Get... All the get the wee skill book and all that you can find. Hey, let's go. Zoe's diary. We didn't listen to that. What's oh, a reading one? Oh man. Well, I will read that after we clear what's. Do an awful lot of reading today. <gasps> it's disc fun heaven. Awesome. I think the amount of copper you can get in here is crazy. Uh, did I shoot him or not? Yeah, well, you're good, probably going to attack me anyway, so isn't the best I just... Okay. This weapon's poo-poo for this. You are not dying, are you? Now you can't do anything to me, so, you know, you make me feel a wee bit better. Connie's note. It seems we've been fighting off raiders ever since I moved back home. Bastards are like roaches. You kill one, ten more crawl out of the cracks. I asked Pa how he dealt with them, and he said he didn't have to. Back in the day, there was this guy. They called him the Black Devil, and he made it his mission to drive all the raiders out of the Commonwealth. Whenever you needed his help, you just tuned your radio to his station, and he'd be there. 
So naturally, I wanted to know what happened to him. Pa said he didn't know. About a year ago, the radio went static and it's been Raider heaven ever since. But last week, I was at the old Watts building looking for scrap and came across a display that mentions the devil by name. There was also a couple of hollow tapes which I couldn't make head nor tails of. So I asked my cousin Richie for help, because he's good with this stuff. He thinks the tapes might have music in them, a way to summon the devil. The blurb in one of the hollow tapes mentions two radio stations, AM10 and FM527. Richie thinks it might be tied to the old relay towers with the same numbers, just northeast of here. Maybe if we can send up some music back to the station. Anyways, I'm leaving this note here in case I'm probably just being paranoid, but I get the feeling we're being followed. Still, if my hunch is right and for some reason we don't make it, someone has to finish what we started and bring the devil back. Let's play this. Oh. Control your very own machine army with the mechanist remote. Use the antenna to guide robots in the direction. Ah, oh, cool. All the wee models, too. Let's go back to... Ooh! You legendary? No, you were just normal. suppose we may listen to the devil thing. That's... that's yep, that's going to be a lot of fun. Just need to get out of range of that radio that keeps playing. <laughs> Ooh! Being super... Thorough? What do you mean I can't run? Oh. Piper! Hey. You say the word. Okay, you are going to take all the junk. And that's all she can take. That's fair enough. Um, hopefully I should have enough to just finish clearing this place. You know, it would have been a very extensive uh, ham radio service here. Help me, Piper. Candy, a feather duster, and say what? Years, and this place would be the grave. Expert security gate. Watch, watch me. Oh, can't I can't even get my hands in that position there? But yeah, watch me work. Not with me there. Ah, did That's that it. job. Straight in. Stealth boy. A mini nuke with loads of pre-war money. Would you look at that? Brilliant. Typewriter. Hey. And, uh, okay, so everything is going to try and kill me here. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to sit and batter my way through them. If they want to activate let them activate. Yes. Woohoo! This must have been the coffee room. That's just... Employees must wash their hands before returning to work. Well, I mean, he took it really literally and completely... <laughs> took his hands with him too. Didn't mean to sit down. Oh, I must just be really naturally, like, tired in this game. Okay. We basically explored everything. And up here as well. No one seems to have really, like, disturbed me. Oh, this, you definitely know this is the boss's room when you see all the whiskey bottles. See if it requires terminal. Ooh, a Mr. Gutsy. Well, I have something special for you, my friend. Ooh, no. Why did I think that was a good idea? To do this all over again. <sighs> I'm 
back in a second. Well, I recovered from all of that and managed to get into this place here. Cash register and some military grade circuit boards. Right, time to go back upstairs and do what I was about to do. I know. Okay, so we were in here, we were looking about, I was like, oh, you know what I could do here? I could totally equip two pulse mines. And it would do next to nothing and send everything flying. Brilliant. Brilliant idea, Tom. Honestly, I outdo myself sometimes. I honestly, I thought this was going to be an in and out job. Honestly. What? I thought, in, out. Nope. Uh, shipment is procured and on its way. Leave your payment at the drop site in the moment we discuss. Don't get cheap at me now, Felix. These are some high-grade robotics I'm getting for you. Welcome. Uh, open the safe. Disengage lock. Dear asshole, I quit. Cooper, suck on up, Felix. Oh, I thought that was meant to like activate them all. Well, I wonder what activates them. Is it like you go down here or something? Because this, if you waltz down here, or oh, another one. And another one. Let's, let's go inside. Now we read. Oh, another tiny critter has entered the bottle. Still plenty of supplies that we can pick up. I can't believe I killed myself with a pulse mine. That, that's definitely five minutes of my life from never getting back. <laughs> Ooh, nice. that blends in. Uh, total hack, yes. So now we can uh, hack robots. Woohoo! Server status, offline, note for management. Cooper, I don't understand what's so hard about this. All I'm asking you to do is turn off the military protocols in the shipment we got last night. So we can put them on demo mode in the store. How hard could that be? You know computers. Are you too busy reading comics and playing games? Grow up and be a team player. Oh. That's... That's better. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa! These ones are vicious. Okay, so again, just drop a wee bit of everything. Manax. Fucking kill! Oof. Yeah, got rid of them too. Seems uh, he killed everyone. See? Must be upstairs. Right, we could just leave. We don't have to kill him. I had a principal. I don't even have anything to kill him. I suppose we could throw a plasma grenade. Also, throw a frag. In. Catch! Oh my god! Ah! 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 ah. Ooh. <laughs> run! 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 Piper, don't! Nice, we got him. Good job, everyone. And with that, lots of consumers has been complete. By the way, I didn't realize the Black Devil was like this bit here. So yeah, that, uh, that was cool. And after clearing our way through everything, did I get absolutely everything? It looks like I did. Can I get back up? Let me up. 
Let me up. It didn't let me up. And we are out. Again, I did say we have a few more things to listen to, so let's firstly go to... Well, we listened to Connie's note, Dawson's hollow tape, we listened to all that. I actually want to listen to the flight. Where's the flight? Let me hear this. Boston Towers, Skylane 1981. Acknowledge, over. Damn it, what's going on? Oh, God! Mayday, Mayday, Mayday! Boston Towers, Skylane 1891. Lost engines, we're, we're breaking up. Fighting gunners and children of Adam again. I know Piper is a bit mad, isn't it? Oh, that hurt. In the middle of them. Okay. Honestly, I'm probably just going to have to like grab and run. We'll be taking all your gamma guns though. As I am pinned down by gunners. We are, Piper, we are leaving. We are out of here. Don't need an assault rifle. Okay, well, it's easy to carry, so I'll do. Should get a wee critical here. Nope. Here, I tell you what, that suppressed powerful auto pistol looks really good. I'll be taking that. And the gamma gun. I hear even more violence in the distance. Hello, I will admit. I'm probably gonna have to take some that away. There's definitely another gunner about here. Was that the one that died over? No. That must have been it. Right. There's something on the other side of this. I don't know what it is. We must be near... something? It's this location. Cambridge Crater. I think it is, yeah. Wow. It would be great. Oh, you're not even the... Oh, who was that? Be gone! Oh, no, 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 Piper. Out, out, out. <laughs> I'm not having that. Like, no way. Way too many going on there. Oh! You ever seen Richard? He's one... He always despawns, so it's... Quite good we got here early. Um, we can read Richard's note as one of the final things we'll do in this episode. Synthetic truth, you can see he was trying to sell that. And also there are loads of raiders nearby because this is close to Gunner's Plaza. Where's Piper? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, bit of anarchy here. Hey, you guy. What? Why are they all dead? Why are they dead? What? 
Oh no! No, 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 no. Have any other? That's as good as it's getting. I don't know what killed all these guys though. I, I don't think I've ever got here and found. Ah, there's the legendary one. It's actually good. We got rid. We got you and not the putrid glowing bomber. Yeah. Still not the best, but uh, what's this terminal gonna do? See this turret control, but I don't don't see any turrets. Ah, we're not going in the months in your cars. Might be a little bit too too rad for us. Something. I don't know what, there's no, there's no obvious sign, but something killed all the raiders here, and that's, it's a pretty rare sight. Oh, yay! Wow, this is like a horror movie. Ooh. Um, who's shooting? Was it Piper? Piper couldn't have killed all them by herself. Wouldn't put a poster. Would be pretty impressive. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah. Um, do this, gonna do this. Come here, come here, come here. Well, I probably could kill them. With no Ill, Ill effect, not effective whatsoever. <laughs> the super mutants that's who killed them. All right. Me. Go for the super mutants. Sound, what is it? Oh. Oh, oh, I'm near dead. Oh, I'm near dead. Oh, I'm running by these guys. I'm near dead. You're easier to deal with. Yes. Yes. Good job, super mutants. Use did well. Um, I'll take that and what did you die with? That's all you died with. And he was a smoker too. That explains why he's a putrid gl glowing one. And I'm out of here. Now we are leaving now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right, oh, that's where he lost his arm. I did wonder why I had one arm less. Okay. All is quiet. All is quiet. Come on. Why is it saying caution? Yes. Let me read Richard's note. Then I'll start the next episode. I'll have got rid of anything I, I've already read and we'll listen to anything that we haven't. So Richard here was at that newsstand. What makes you think people will buy copies of the newspaper from you when they can just get one in Diamond City? Okay, maybe some of the traders or farmers up north of the river might buy. It, it sort of continues. But obviously, you know, he had his wee note there and then someone took a pot shot at him from the top of Monsignor Plaza. I'm amazed the raiders let them live that long or maybe they only recently moved in so they're you know that's things you got to think about but yes we have accomplished eh, a fair wee bit today something new uh discovered a good few new locations in the 
Cambridge area. We've obviously got Codsworth idolized. We did a fair bit into the Mechanist uh, quest sign because we were near Watts. Cleared Watts. We have Piper now. Um, she's idolizing me every time I lockpick something, so she should be pretty easy to max out. Um, yeah, it's looking good. So in the next episode, we will probably... Oh, we cleared Cambridge Creator. I need to actually double check there's no skill books or anything. I don't think so. I think it's just the putrid one in the middle. That's kind of like all there is to it. Uh, but, yeah, in the next one... Actually, just whilst I'm here, I'll tell you what I am taking. I'm going to take more Scrounger, because I tell you what, I'm having awful luck when it comes to finding stuff. Um, Ammo-wise, so I need to build up more ammo. Um, I'll work on my settlements for a bit, and then tomorrow, I think, I'll kind of venture, maybe, you know, into this direction. Uh, maybe help dance out, but not get him as a companion yet, obviously. So, yeah, plenty of things happening. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you all in the next one.